Well, I really enjoyed this film. This is a smart film. It's a smart film about a, a, a period in our country's history that pe people hold dearly. And they don't want to see it ruined. They want to see it played out. And, uh, and this is a film that takes itself seriously and does it right. Do you, do you feel like when you were in the middle of working on this film that you were working on something special? Yeah, yeah. Um, it wasn't hard to feel that, <laughs> you know, because, um, I mean, for one, we're surrounded by incredible filmmakers. Uh, from, you know, Roland and Dean, obviously, um, and Caleb Dejanel, the DP, um, everyone down from Deborah Scott doing the costumes, uh, and of course the actors, Mel Gibson and Chris Cooper and Tom Wilkinson, Jason Isaacs, Jolie Richardson. Um, so it, it was pretty hard not to feel like we were on something good, you know, and, um, you know, just, just, yeah, just working on set, and uh, of course the script that Robert Rodat wrote is phenomenal from the start. Um, and so, we, yeah, we had all the right ingredients, I think, for a good film from the beginning. So. Yeah, it has an excellent lineage. Yeah, it does. In this film all the way through, yeah. including John Williams' music score. Yeah, absolutely. Are you the kind of actor that when you're in the middle of a scene, uh, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with, with one of the other actors, say Mel Gibson, um, do you get lost in the moment easily? Ah, uh, yeah, I do, I guess. I, um, you know, I'm not, I don't want to sound too actory, but <laughs> yeah, 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 I do. I very rarely, like, uh, stop and remember a lot that I, I've done, but at the same time, I'm, I'm completely aware. You know, I'm aware of what the camera is doing, and I'm aware of what I've just done at the same time. If that makes any sense, yeah, probably not. Absolutely. Mm. Uh, moments of this film. Have you seen the film all the way through? Yeah, yeah. I saw it the other night. What pleases you the most? Um, I guess the way the chemistry turned out between um, Mel and I, the father and son relationship. I knew, I knew it felt, it felt right. And uh, it was comfortable from the get-go, I guess. Um, uh, the whole movie pleased me, you know? I could sit here and give you a list for a mile, really. Mm. Gro uh, growing up in Australia, that's where you grew up, right? Yeah. Uh, very well aware of Mel Gibson as an actor before you were yeah. an actor. Yes. Did you have any idea growing up that you'd be here doing this? Yeah, I had this vision when I was like six years old <laughs> that I was going to be <laughs> working on it. No, fuck, you know, uh, not at all. Um, you know, I always wanted to, of course, you know. He was like a hero of ours. He was, the, he was the guy, I guess, who bridged the gap between our two industries. You know, he really opened our eyes and let us know that we can work in other countries, <laughs> particularly Hollywood. Um, and, of course, he's Mad Max, you know. So <laughs> he, was, he was, of course, he was my hero. Um, never dreamed in a million years. No. Mad Max was wild stuff. Yeah. It was great stuff. When it came to this country, it was great stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we kind of, it was kind of new. Um, in the grand scheme of making films and, and, and having experiences that are different on every film, <coughs> what sets this one apart? Is it, is it because it's so athletic and so there's, there's so many fight scenes involved and so much energy involved and, and less of being so inward? Or what sets this one apart from other films you do? Um... Oh, God, I mean, a lot sets it apart from the other films I've done. Um, I mean, for starters, the grand scale of it. Um, I mean, in terms of storyline, yeah, there's a lot of fighting, there's a lot of energy. Um, but, I mean, that's just portraying the war in which the story is set in. You know, the story, the actual, the actual storyline of the family and the father and the son and even Tabington and the relationship with him and the family. You could pull that out of context. You could pull that out of the Revolutionary War, the Patriot, and you could contemporize that story. Um, you know, basically it was just set in the Revolutionary War. Um, you know, I, I, there's a lot of differences between this and the movies I've done before. I mean, you know, I guess. Yeah, you got the right horses. <laughs> Again, yeah. <laughs> Again, nice to see you. Nice to All see right. you. Good work. Really Thank good you. Fun work. Thank you. I'm proud of you.